In this video, we will extract the animation from a video and take it to an unreal metahuman character. Let's start by importing a video to Plask. In this case, we will use the whole video. We choose the options, single, foot lock if you have the Plask Pro version, and the T pose. Extract the video. Place the animation in the Plask mannequin and make sure that it's correct. And adjust the playback section to the animation duration. Export the FBX to Unreal. In Unreal, we will create a folder to import the FBX, and we carry out the import with the same parameters we always use for Unreal. We're going to place the character in the level we're using. And then we create an IK rig necessary to perform the retarget. This IK rig must contain the skeleton of the Plask character. Inside the IK rig, we set the root of the retargeting, and then we will assemble the bone chains, choosing by parts as seen in the video. Remember that we must use these same names in the next MetaHuman IK rig. Now, we will place the metahuman in the level and create the IK rig for this character. For metahuman's IK, we need to know the name of the skelet mesh. So, we go into Blueprint, select the body, and from there, we go to metahuman's skelet mesh folder. That's the one we're going to use for the IK rig. We proceed to retarget by selecting the retarget route. 
and select the bone chains as shown in the video. Now, let's create the controller that will allow us to transfer the animation from one character to the other. And we choose first the IK rig that will send the animation, in this case, that of Plask. We will now adjust the metahuman character over the Plask character. This is just to have a position reference. And we proceed to put the metahuman character in T pose.
we now test the Plask animation in the MetaHuman and export it. Create a sequencer to visualize the animations. So, we place both characters together with the same animation, which will be available in both. We remove the control rig from the face and the body. And we load the animation of the model. Let's see if there is any change in the animation. We can modify our animation through additive layers to correct some poses. As you can see, this is how to transfer the Plask animation to an Unreal MetaHuman character. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to follow us on social media for exclusive offers.